the asteroids oscillating too quickly. We need someone who can compute this highly oscillatory integral. I'm going to have to call the big guns. Hello? So you're saying everyone will die unless I can compute this highly oscillatory integral? Time for business. Why can't we just use traditional Gaussian quadrature methods? Oh, you NASA scientists are so naive. Everybody knows when the integrand is highly oscillatory, traditional Gaussian quadrature methods are highly ineffective. I propose that we use the method of numerical steepest descent, where we deform our path of integration into the complex plane, and then apply a quadrature method on the remaining steepest descent paths. But what if another asteroid comes along, and it's not oscillating as wildly? Can we still use the method of numerical steepest descent? It's a very good question, Mr. NASA scientist. Unfortunately, as omega goes to zero, which corresponds to this integrand getting less and less oscillatory, these nodes actually shoot off towards infinity in the complex plane. I propose we use a different method, one that's universal, one that works well in both the small and large omega regimes. To do that, I say we take polynomials orthogonal to the weight e to the i omega x and use the zeros of these polynomials to do a Gaussian quadrature rule. But I don't get it! Do such orthogonal polynomials with respect to a complex measure even exist? Take a look at this figure here. We have the trajectories of the 6th and 7th degree kissing polynomials as omega goes from 0 to infinity. Every kissing point in the figure corresponds precisely to a value of omega for which the odd degree kissing polynomials fail to exist. Note also the interesting fractal structure of these zeros. As we zoom in at the endpoints, we see that this kissing pattern keeps on repeating. That sounds like an excellent topic for further research, but does this connect to any other areas of mathematics? Indeed it does. To prove results on the asymptotic behavior of these zeros, we must resort to the combinatorial approach of my supervisor, Arya Israelis, to study certain multivariate integrals coming from Henkel determinants. Recently, we've also noticed some interesting connections between orthogonal polynomials with respect to complex measures and the field of integrable systems. That's enough talk. It's time to save lives with complex Gaussian quadrature.